Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Thorne, and I'm the Senior Branch Manager for Leaders Brighton and Hove. Um, and I'd like to welcome you today to the Leaders section of today's seminar. So it's clearly not news to any of us that buy to let and the reinvestment into rental property has seen a major resurgence over the last 18 months. Leaders branches across the Sussex region have seen a sharp rise in investor activity, along with an ever-increasing demand for good quality rental stock. Since the credit crunch, the laws of supply and demand have driven rental growth enormously, despite a slow economic recovery. Renting as a long-term solution and even in some cases a lifestyle choice, is now the norm, particularly amongst the, the group of people we now call Generation Rent. The payment of rent, rather than mortgage interest, is now the focus, certainly, for many younger households, unable to raise the capital needed for a mortgage down payment. Reduced accessibility to home ownership and the increased acceptability of renting at all stages of life have boosted the demand for privately rented homes. Suddenly, your pool of potential tenants is far wider and renting is now a far more viable option for many people, whether they be professional couples, young families or pensioners. There really is a far wider range of tenants out there than ever before. So I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail uh, with some stats across the region. Leaders branches across the Sussex area over the last 12 months have recorded a total of 3,562 new lets. At least 1,000 of these were brand new properties to the market. From our own statistics over the last 12 month period, leaders landlords have seen an increase in their rental figure by an average 2.27%. And that's compared with 1.6% across the rest of the South East. The average length of tenancy across the South East has risen from 26 months back in 2009 to 34 months in 2013, and that's a rise of 30%. Now, I mentioned there that increase of 2.27% across Sussex in rental prices. It's really important that when you bring your property to market that you are realistic in the rental figure of your investment. It's a competitive market, and your property should definitely reflect that. It needs to stand out from the crowd. Yes, there are great rental incomes out there, but do your homework. Take a look at the internet portals and survey the market. There is an increasing number of long-term tenants out there who will expect a certain standard of property for their hard-earned money. Increasingly, the view is that this property is their home, and as a result, you will benefit from longer tenancies, fewer void periods and higher returns, which is good news for landlords. So let's take a quick look at what's happening around the region. Across West Sussex, branches are reporting that buy to let activity has been strong for some time. The number of new build sites around the town, such as Bognor, have meant that there have been opportunities to buy new build property which can achieve a 5 to 10% <coughs> new build premium on first lets. The market tends to be for reasonably priced family accommodation, and the demand is always strong, as the market always seems to be undersupplied. In the Worthing area, buy to let is very active, and depending on the landlord's budget, the team have been recommending two to three bedroom family houses, as they are the best investments with returns between 5 and 7% being achievable. Due to the fact that rents are not that dissimilar across mid-Sussex, the area has become more attractive to the buy to let landlord as they get more for their money. Demand for all properties, one or two beds for young professional couples, two to three bedroom houses for young, young families are all popular and they all tend to let very quickly. In Horsham, there are several new builds going on around the outskirts of the town, including Highwood and Wickhurst Green, with two and three bedroom houses being your best bet. Closer to the town centre, nice one and two bedroom apartments are still very popular. And last but by no means least, in East Sussex, that continues to see a very high level of activity. In my own city of Brighton and Hove, especially, we're now seeing that a lot of new investors are coming onto our books as the confidence in the sales market grows again. The properties offering the best returns are one and two bedroom flats closer to Brighton and Hove stations, also the Brighton and Hove border, and family homes in areas such as Five Ways, Port Slade, and Hangleton. In summary, with growing yields and an increasing number of buy-to-let mortgages out there, it's no surprise that there's been an increase in the number of landlords looking to grow or even start their portfolios. Buying the right property is key to success, 
And with that in mind, I'd like to hand you over to Phoebe Watson, who's going to give you some very important information about the Leaders Investor Network.